All right, boys, day two of what the hell is going on with the prelude. Find out. Fuel pump fuse out. Yeah, we took the spark plugs out, disconnected. Do you have a plug on the bench here? All of them? Yeah, they're um, uh, not looking hot. They're clapped. A lot of carbon buildup, a lot of oil. Doesn't look like e any single last one of them are gapped equally. I have a gapping tool if you wanted to see. <laughs> nah, we'll just get new ones. We got a compression tester because she's been burning a bit of oil. Well, hopefully this is the right. They came with no big. adapters? No adapters. So what? we'll have to go get an adapter. Those are the big boys. Oh my goodness. Thousand years later. Well, good. Stop. Yeah, we're at 210 on that hole. Okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. 210. Two hundred, even two hundred. So that's ten down on three. Not bad. Send it. Stop. There's got to be oil in hole four. It's almost at two fifty. It's like it's two thirty. I'd say two thirty five, two forty on hole four. There's got to be oil in it. It was gonna keep going too if you kept cranking it, so. You got 210, 210, 200, and 240. It's definitely oil in that hole. So we got 210 on one and two, 200 on three, and it would have cranked to 250 on four. So there's gotta be some sort of fluid in there, which is why we're trying to figure it out. Also, I didn't show on video, but you took the cap off the rad and like half the fluid was gone and it only leaked once not even a full quart like mm -hmm. just a little bit so it that means leaked, it yeah, has to be like that much yeah it just dripped out a bit so that means it like has to be burning a bit of coolant but if that coolant that is burning or well, somehow got in the hole that's why the compression's exhaust. high it smells like coolant though but it smells like i don't know it's it doesn't really smell like anything no. <laughs> uh, we gotta figure out what's it in. It smells like oil when I'm driving it. Yeah. We gotta figure out what's in hole four. That's what yeah. we really gotta so figure just, out. We don't have a boroscope, so we're just gonna use this and hopefully we can smell what fluid it is or see. Yeah, because hole four is way high compared to the other three. I feel so bad. I was running her like that all day yesterday. <laughs> Poor thing. It's just cranky. Also, look at this. How bad this gasket is because the head piece broke. Oh, so uh, that's that's how bad the leak is. Oh my god, yeah, you, there's that's oil. oil in the cylinder for sure. That's oh, oil. yeah, okay. Well, we know it's oil. Okay, well, I was gonna say though, put a catch can on it. Okay, catch all that blow by. I have a spare one if you want. I have two of them. You put a catch can on it, it might help reduce so how do we some do of that. that with the two pieces on the valve cover to the catch can. Yeah. You just got to vent it through a catch can, so anything that'd be recycled is going into the okay. can and not back into the motor. Okay. But still, there is a lot of fluid in that if it soaked that thing too. Okay, well that's actually huge though, because yeah. if it's just that, then I don't need a motor and I don't need to do any head stuff. Yeah. But we still have to figure out why there's that. no coolant, and I wonder if that was just from the leak. But because when I... Here, we'll just show it. Yeah, there is. There's no pressure. Like it's there and then when I squeeze it, like there's a tiny bit that like squirts up, yeah. but like if I squish it a bunch, it just like, and also Mishimoto, what is this? Look at all this. Look yeah. at the trash that came out. It like faded instantly. Even my Instant. eBay purple one stayed the same color. I ran them for like two years. <laughs> yeah, like I, and I, I haven't put any like crazy cleaner on this or anything. Like, and it's just destroying Weird. it. Is this a like, Mishi Rat or Yonaka? Yonaka. Yeah. Weird. Yeah, I don't know, man. But, huh. So we're going to have to put some coolant in there, too. Yeah, but, see if it's burning it or something. Yeah, but I don't know, man. Fuck. That's kind of shitty. 
Yeah, that is shitty. Let's put it in there and see what pulls out. I don't think it'll go like in, in. Not far enough? No, I don't think so. No. Shit. Do something in there. It is, hole three is incredibly dirty up top here where the, is it? Yeah, where it seats in, it's super dirty. What the heck? Oh, gross. Yeah, like real cake. What is that? Yeah, That's like gluey. Feel yeah. that. It's not like. It's gluey? Yeah. We're trying to see if all oil caps smell like fuel. So we're going to the car that we know isn't fucked up because it's brand new. There, there should be a slight scent. It shouldn't be that heavy. Oh yeah, reeks like oil. I mean, gas. Yeah, okay, then that's fine. Reeks like fucking 91. Okay, yeah, that's normal. All right, boys, so it appears that the exhaust valves on the lewd might be the issue as to why there's oil in the cylinder. Still a little bit weird why it's burning coolant, but we just got some sea foam, and then we also got new spark plugs. They're all gap to size, everything should be good. So we'll do that, and I guess run some sea foam, and how you going? Hope for the best. Hope for the best. All right, so all the new plugs gapped to size are all back in. Distributors connected. We're gonna go ahead and top up the coolant and let that bleed with sea foam running through it. So we'll see how all this goes, but it's looking good. At least that bottom end has compression still, so that's good. Okay, we got the lube turned around just in case it starts to puff today, but she's jacked up, so the coolant should be at the highest point and we're gonna, gonna throw some sea foam in. Shove her in there. Chink up. Sounds like it's filling up. I don't want to spill. Oh, no, she's just taking all of it. It's like old purple mm. in the filler, rainbow. She liked that. Neochrome boy. <laughs> See how this goes. First sea foam job. Drink up. A little lewd. Just a little? Just to get it above the water. Now we wait. Now we wait. The heater's on? Yeah, it's cranked as hot as heck. So it's taken a really long time to bleed the coolant, so we finally just decided to Google it. And unlike the B series, on the H22, on the water filler neck, basically the thermostat housing or around there, the water neck on the head, there is a coolant, like I guess pressure relief valve, a little water bleeder. So now we're opening that to let out that pressure, and that should do the trick because. We were just kind of standing here for like an hour, like what's going on, but we'll loosen this and see how it goes. We're just kind of makeshifting a hose on it so it doesn't just spew out into the engine bay and got a little water bottle trying to make life easier. See how that goes. Okay, nothing's coming out of the coolant check valve. Is it coming out? No, I wrapped it and it just... Yeah. Everywhere. Nothing was coming out of the coolant check valve, so we think the thermostat must be closed if, you know, there's no coolant going through there, so. We're gonna, we left it open and now we're gonna rev it up and try and get it to operating temp and see if anything does come out. See that? Yeah, 
that's coming out. There's a lot of air coming out. Yeah. Okay, so it appears to be just cycling air. So we put the radiator cap on, and that's open. That's good. That's a clear. Oh, there's no. That's it. We have finally, after like an hour, maybe a little more, have achieved a constant flow of cooling out the bleeder port. So that means oh. it must be good to go. And it is hot as hell out here too. Bro, we gotta go take a dog somewhere. It's hot as hell. Okay, so the final verdict. What are we thinking here? Well, I didn't know that there was that um, gooseneck like bleeder valve, which was super helpful right by the thermostat on the H22s, there's a bleeder valve and it completely bleeds your coolant, so. It was really quick when I, I did got not up. know that, so <laughs> thanks to him, he looked that up and we got that figured out. And now it's it. bled, it had this perfect stream coming out, and we had that thing running for like an hour. Oh God, yeah. Maybe a little more. Yeah, probably more than an hour. So it should be bled properly now, and then we You'd put, think. put the seafoam in it, hopefully. I mean, it'll make it smoke more for now, but hopefully it, clears up the oil that was on top of the piston number four. Mm -hmm. um, new spark plugs now, so Should hopefully just a clean little tune-up is all it needed. If not, we might have to look into taking the head off possibly. Yeah, that but, oil burning is still weird, but with everything we just did, we kind of got to take them back out and test it Yeah, and see from there. But I mean, best thing today though is we did the compression test and the bottom end's got compression. Yeah, we got compression, so that was a bonus bonus, so yeah. I'm pumped on that. Hell yeah. Well, there you go, update on the H22. We're good to go, comment, like, and subscribe. We'll catch you boys next time when we're probably testing the Prelude more. Probably. <laughs> Peace out, boys.